Turning now to our Hispanic Heritage Month coverage, we are honoring the contributions of Latinos in the United States. Today, we celebrate the efforts of a Vietnam veteran who is on a mission to promote literacy with his one-of-a-kind library in the heart of Stockton. KCRE3's Leticia Ordaz shows us how the Chicano Research Center is changing lives. This is a dream come true. Richard Soto is living his dream. Since he was a kid, he's always looked for books that would tell him more about his Latino heritage. But just wanting to know my, my history. Now a grandfather, he has more books than he can count. It's been a long journey for Richard. He's been collecting books since he got back from Vietnam in 1968, and he says he has no plans of slowing down. This is the contemporary area. These aren't just any books. Each of the pages highlight literature for and by Latinos. We have one of the best collections on Pancho Villa. It's proving to be a gold mine of information. I've had uh, several, several individuals that are working on their PhDs, and they can't find a Chicano book. So they call, and I go, oh yeah, we got him, you know. So I had one lady, she came all the way from Texas. Soto loves that people come in often to the Chicano Cultural Center in Stockton and borrow his books. And so I'll have people come in and they'll say, well, do you have that book? And I go, yeah, we have two sets. <laughs> this one I found in Mexico City and this one was donated. He says it's good for Latinos of all ages to learn their history and to be proud of the many contributions made to the U.S. People have been so accustomed not to see us anywhere that, that uh, they, they, they just believe that there's nothing about us. The self-esteem, people feeling proud that, you know, we, we did do something. Telefono, taza, gato, fruta. Osito. Retired elementary school teacher Teresa Ciscalleros found out about Soto's mission and started volunteering her time. What it means for me is a total passion of a person that believed in a dream and the dream was to be an advocate of literacy and to uh, open the world up to show people that there are all kinds of literature. The Chicano Cultural Center has a wide range of children's books. What do you think it does to expose other children to Latino books? Well, me being from a generation that books were not available to us with, can I say, our faces. And so these young children see their faces, their self-esteem grows because they realize that there's other people, you know, their culture is something wonderful and in literacy, it shows them about their life. Ms. Teresa says a space like this is transformational for kids. When children see themselves in books early on, it sets the foundational skills for lifelong success. They will progress and they will get an education. They will go to college. They will get their BAs or MAs and, and become astronauts and even the president. These literacy ambassadors from Stockton are calling on big publishers to start producing more books featuring Latinos as the protagonists and authors of their own stories. They say there's a long way to go, but the Chicano Cultural Center is here to provide resources and representation for the community. Please understand that Latinos do read. We, we, we yes, we use the media and we use our phones and we use, but we love to read. We really do and we learn from what we read. In Stockton, Leticia Ordaz, KCRA 3 News. Absolutely an incredible resource there. You can visit the Chicano Research Center on Main Street in Stockton to check out its books and its historic pieces of art too. If you have any Latino literature that you would like to donate, they are always looking to add to their library collection.